me. It's National DNA Day. Every year on April 25th since 2003, scientists, biologists, and genetic enthusiasts come together to observe National DNA Day. They celebrate the discovery and research into DNA and the scientific advancements that help make progress possible. Organized annually by the Human Genome Research Institute, National DNA Day encourages people to learn more about the science that makes them genetically unique. It was on April 25, 1953, that molecular biologist James Dewey Watson's academic paper presenting DNA's double helix structure was published in the scientific journal. Nine years later, he was awarded the Nobel Prize in Physiology and Medicine for unearthing the molecular structure of nucleic acids and its importance for genetic information transfer in living beings. Say that five times. On April 14, 2003, the Human Genome Project was declared complete. It was an international scientific research project with the goal of determining the base pairs that make up human DNA. This project lasted for 13 years, but it finished two years ahead of schedule. It was originally set to map the nucleotides contained within the human haploid genome. The scientists quickly realized that any genome of any given individual is completely unique. So mapping the human genome involved mapping the DNA of a small number of individuals and then piecing them all together to complete a sequence of individual chromosomes. Meaning the complete human genome is more of a mosaic rather than a representative of any one individual. Well, following the completion of the Human Genome Project, both the Senate and the House of Representatives proclaimed April 25th, 2003 as DNA Day. The day had marked 50 years since Watson's paper was published. Did you know? On average, siblings who share the same mother and father, excluding identical twins, appear to be 25% genetically identical, or 50% half identical. This occurs because each child gets 50% of their genetic makeup from their mother and 50% from their father. Meaning 25% from each has the potential to be genetically identical, while the other 50% is a slightly different genetic pattern passed on to each child. Ever since the days of Aristotle, the father of biology, scientists have been studying living organisms and contributing to the genetic discoveries that were published in 1953 and continue to today. On National DNA Day, we recognize the efforts that led us to the knowledge we have access to today and the continued research that will lead to the discoveries of tomorrow. Happy National DNA Day, everyone! Thank you for listening today. My name is Kevin. Welcome to my channel, Everything Kevin. If you like this video, please press like below. If you'd like to see more, please press subscribe. Take it easy, man.